Good, okay. What do you need other than your drone when you're going out for a commercial job? Well, let's find out. Here's my drone extra accessory commercial business thing. So when I open up in here, you're gonna have uh, your computer, obviously. I like to back everything up on site before I get going anywhere else. Um, this guy is very important. We're gonna go over that in just a second. This, if you don't pay attention to anything else in here, pay attention to this. This, uh, this is gonna be really key. You have, of course, a landing pad. A lot of times when you go out on a, on a job site, you're gonna be at, like, let's say, a construction site, and there's lots of dirt, debris, gravel, things like that, and you wanna make sure that, um, you know, it doesn't get up into your, into your drone. Then, of course, I have this tablet here. This is not an iPad, this is actually an Android. In case there's programs that uh, work better on an Android than my iPhone, I do prefer my iPhone. It's a good idea to have a backup of everything, because if something happens, you don't wanna have to lose out on that job. You are gonna need to have some sort of Vest. I like this one uh, because it says FAA certified drone pilot, do not disturb. This just kind of uh, separates me a little bit from just a standard vest. One of the things that's really important to know is if you go on a construction site, you're gonna need to have most of the time an OSHA certification, steel toe boots, and then a hard hat of some sort. Now, a lot of times the company that you're working for, they might actually say, use our branded stuff. So on the hard hat, it'll say their name on it. On the vest, it'll have their name on it. You might have to get a badge specifically for their safety training. So you'll have the OSHA training, then you'll have your companies or your the place that you're contracting out to they might have specific training too. So you need to just keep that in mind. But this is good to have if you're not going on a construction site or if they don't care. If they don't need you to have a specific branding on it, then you have your own. So this is also really good if you're gonna be in like a residential area and you need to make sure that, uh, you know, you're just, you stand out, that's all. And then the other thing I have in here are some binoculars. Maybe you need to see a high tension power line or something against the roof. You can also use these as a visual observer temporarily to see your drone, but you can't be using this for your visual line of sight, but these are really good to have. They're usually pretty expensive. I got lucky, I got these at a uh, thrift store and these were six bucks. So, I mean, you, you can't go wrong for six bucks. And these, these are a nice pair. We have ourselves a little power bank. Power banks are good. This thing's gonna charge my phone several times. A uh, power station is really good to keep in your vehicle. That's one of those big boys. Uh, that you can charge your drone batteries on or you know, a ton of stuff. The other thing I have here is to connect for my SD card. So this goes into my computer, it's a little hub, uh, and I get my SD card, different sizes there, and I can very fast back up my drone, and then that way I have two copies on my way back to the office. I have a radio here. This guy is just listen only. It's really key so you can listen to the airports that you might be around by, or you can even get weather information. It also makes it look more official too, uh, if you just put it on that vest of yours. So in here, uh, this is just some extra cordage. So I have some different power cables. I have some batteries in here. These guys are for the radio. Whenever you have uh, batteries, make sure that you put a piece of tape or something over um, each end, just so that they won't have a chance of touching anything else because you don't want anything to blow up. The little lens cleaning cloth. These lens cleaners are lens cleaners for a reason. They're very specific. You don't really want to be using your shirt. If you do use your shirt, as long as it's cotton, I use the inside of my shirt because then you won't have a chance, as much chance, at rubbing dirt onto the lens and grinding it in. It's very minute, but you can really cause a lot of damage if you don't use the right kind of stuff. And then, so that's just some cables, right? So just bring some extra cables with you. Again, backup is everything. If the little cable that comes in with your drone remote control, have an extra one of those. You wanna always have some sort of redundancy. Lotion, cause you know, even manly hands need lotion. So let's go into this binder. This binder here, I have in this zipper, I just have some different colored pens my part 107 right here, my OSHA certification. I have a pencil and a little notebook right here. It's really a good idea to have a sectional chart with you. You can get these sectional charts off of Amazon. You can also potentially get them from the airports in the area. So you, you might be able to go up there and grab one if they have them. And uh, a lot of times they'll have like gift shops or something. You might not have a location 
let's say for like Boston, Boston is actually included in the New York one. Uh, so that covers all of Massachusetts as well as New York. So if you're having a hard time, you can see that these are what they're segmented in. This is called a chart supplement. You'll have like the, the communications, the CTAF and the ATIS, those are the frequencies there. Uh, this will just kind of zoom in a little bit more, give you more information than what you'll get on the sectional chart. So next thing here, um, I have the FAA lo uh, rules and regulations. In case somebody comes up to you and they want to give you, you've seen the videos, you know, they'll come up and they'll yell at you and whatever. It's good to just have this information on you. A lot of people don't know what a part 107 is. You pull the license out, they don't really know. This is just really good to have so you can reference if you need to. In here, I have uh, just some graph paper and some line paper just in case I need to make some notes. Usually what I have in here is client information. If I'm at a job site and I need to have a map so that I don't go to the wrong site, then I'll have that information in here. Obviously, I'm not gonna include it here on this YouTube episode. A lot of times I'll have uh, emails with specific people's names. So if, if I'm hired by person A and they're not there, or maybe they didn't communicate with the job foreman, I can say, hey, listen, here's my email from so-and-so, here's my authorization, and then they can contact them. Just just have that. It's just, it's just good to have that information. These are the free will um, ND filters for the Mini 2. These are really, really good. You need to make sure that you put them on very specifically. You have to go from the bottom up. A lot of times if you just click them on, they're, they're gonna flop off. This is my Mini 2. Uh, nothing super fancy here. I'm sure you guys have all seen a Mini 2. The one thing that I don't like about this case, I bought this case from Adorama. I don't like that I can't put anything else in it. Um, I could take these guys out and stick them in here maybe, but I don't wanna take any chance on that. So that's the only bummer about that. Uh, so that's my free well that I use that little guy uh, for scouting. If I don't want to pop my, my big drone up, my Mavic 3, for any particular reason, if I just want to scout around and take a look or to get into smaller areas that I'm not really super comfortable with the, the Mavic. I do like to use my Mini 2 in the woods because I have prop guards for it. And if something does happen to it, it's a lot less expensive than the, Mini, uh, the Mavic 3. So my Mavic 3 here, this has all the extra props, kind of the accessories. It has some extra cables in it, cables that I don't necessarily need, but it's always good to have. Of course, the drone, the ND filters. This is what comes with the Fly More combo. This bag comes with the Fly More combo. These are excellent. I made a little quick uh, short on these, which I'll link in the description. It's like, it just shows you how cool they are. And then of course I have the controller and some extra batteries in there. You have a strobe. This strobe is really, really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on and I don't, I'm gonna close my eyes. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. So it's, it, this is even more impressive at nighttime, but this is within three statute miles. It actually goes a little bit more. This is Firehouse uh, Arc 5. So this is really good. These are some of the stickies. Um, so you can put it on your drone and it's got some Velcro. Then the other thing, I have extra SD cards. So this is the SD converter. This is where the little SD card will go in in case you don't have a, a part of your computer that will take these little mini SD cards. This is my extra, this is my spare. Now, if I'm bringing both drones on site, then I actually have three. I have this one that's in the drone. I have this one that's my spare. And then I have the other one that's in the mini. So if I don't need to use both drones, which I can't because a remote pilot and command can only command one drone at a time. If I need to, then I technically have three on site. I always go with SanDisk Extreme. They've been awesome, not just with these little mini SD cards for the drones, but it's also what I use for my main camera, my Canon that I've been using forever. And then also the external drives for your computer. I've had nothing but wonderful things to say about them. They've always been really on par. And these ones, these little guys are dirt cheap now. 128 gigs for like 15 bucks. It's something like that uh, on Amazon. That's it. That's what I have in my bag. Tell me in the comments what you have in yours. If there's something that I'm missing, maybe I should add it to my kit. Let me know. As always, fly safe and be good to each other. Damn birds. Hey, shut up. I have special sound effects, real life helicopter sound effects going on. Ruining my shot. Look at that guy. He's in the trees. Wait, there he is. There he is. They never, they never do this. <laughs> it's only when I'm trying to record. Okay, we'll wait for you.